guys and welcome to a new video this is going to be showing you a game mode called sector control which is actually uh, introduced automatically into modules you don't have to do any scripting it's all you see right here it's all you have to do and then obviously if you want to add more sectors you just add this branch right here so I'm going to join into the multiplayer I am going to take a slot and I'm going to show you the very basics of how this is going to work so you see the map it shows you the area and how big the area is so you press continue and you just pr pretty much run it also shows you on here uh, you run into it and if you look in the top left right here you see this bar going down that means uh, you're capturing it and I have a timer on here you can obviously make this more than 45 seconds but this is just a uh, example so yeah as you see these are the tickets this is blue for tickets I'm on blue for therefore my tickets aren't draining and therefore red four tickets are draining so once those once that hits to zero I will win or once this timer runs out to zero whoever has the highest amount of tickets will win so therefore no matter what this game is rigged to where I will win no matter what unless I've never got into a sector so as long as I get into a sector and sit here I will win we'll demonstrate that by letting time run out sorry my mic was caught on my jacket hopefully that doesn't mess with my sound Three, two, one. I'm stretching. All right, there we go. Boom. Mission completed. Your side has won it. We'll say. Yep. Boom. Beautiful. Easy. Simple. Let's get to the basics. All right. You can speed this up by just pressing escape or continue back. All right, here we go. So you're gonna want to start out with a sector control module uh, so we're going to come over here and we're going to rebuild this thing so what you're going to do is you're going to go to modules you're going to go to multiplayer you're going to pull out a sector you're going to go to play to play game modes and sector control so you have sector control and sector sector you're going to want to make this zero zero if you're just default at 50 50 there's two ways to do it but the way I like to do it is using triggers as the area uh, so you're going to come to sector control, you're also going to come to logic entities and you're going to go to sides and you're going to pull out a blue for one and you're going to pull out an independent, no not independent, or you could do independent but you're going to probably want to opt for and these are the two sides or you can do three sides if you want that are competing for the sector you want to link that up to the sector control not the sector one and then you want to go and you want to link up to that so these right here, all three of these right here we don't need to do anything to at all these are all defaulted at what you need. There's no options to do to them. This is all just logic entities. The game's telling itself, well, this is a sector control mod, and these are the two sides playing for it. But once you get to here to the sector, you want to go into here and you want to name it. I'm going to name it S1. Designation, if you ever played Call of Duty or Battlefield, uh, that would be like the little A, B, C, or D, Echo, Alpha, whatever you want. This is just a single letter visible by the sector. Size reward. I haven't figured this out to be honest I don't know if there's any modules that correspond with it so I'm working on that I really want to figure out how to get a size for like oh you know as you capture this you get a hundred more points and a hundred more points and stuff like that so each player has this, uh, a reward but I'm gonna figure it out ownership limit this is very simple but it's sometimes misunderstood how much a side has to be dominant in order to capture this sector so if I made this one that means in the area that we have the sector there it needs to be only one side in it for it to be captured so if I put this to 0.75 that means it's going to be if you have a little bit more than the other team in there but they're still in the sector you can capture it as long as you have like I don't remember the exact ratio to it but uh, yeah if you, that doesn't make sense in that but we'll actually we'll go down to 0.5 I can explain it better at 0.5 so at 0.5 if half your if each well actually each team that wouldn't really make sense anyways uh Usually I'll put it around 0.75, it's what actually works in the actual scenario. Uh, so the team with a little bit more people in it will capture it. So you gotta, the other team will have to eliminate some of them and bounce it out and like keep going at it. So it works out great. Default owner. This doesn't really matter. Except for the fact with bleeding tickets. So if you put everybody, all the sectors to nobody, nobody will own these until they go and capture it. So that's the ideal thing. 
or you can actually come in here and make each sector blue blue for where it, uh what's it called uh off for we'll have to push and grab all the sectors so they won't be bleeding tickets throughout the whole game set up the way you want it but i'm gonna do nobody for this one we are then gonna look over here and we're gonna get an area and we're gonna go get an area by going to logic entities which is still under systems and you're gonna go to uh my bad yeah you're gonna go here, you're gonna go locations, you're gonna grab area. This is also something you don't have to go in and edit it. So you're gonna connect, sync to this. Then you're gonna grab a trigger and you're gonna pull this out. And you can make this whatever size you want, rectangle or circle. I'm gonna make it a 20 by 20, okay. And you're gonna sync that to this. And that is that, and this has nothing in it. So we're also gonna put nothing in here. Sorry if I'm referencing this, I just found this out. Uh, from over there that's why I left that so now you have this fully now you have a full system now you're gonna make a way to win so you want to go to countdown uh, this is the timer so this is in seconds so if I put 60 that's one minute if I put 120 that's two minutes so for our sake we're gonna put it to 60 and if we go to ticket we can we need both of these bleed and respond tickets you can probably uh, figure out which ones use for which but respond tickets you're gonna set the amount of tickets so if I want blue four to have 50 tickets and not four out of 50 50 tickets that's how I would do it also you can add independent and civilian that's up to you let me clear my throat it's a little dry and then bleed uh, thing so what portion of the sectors must a side hole for others to start bleeding so what that means is uh, if 50% of it is owned that means uh, they'll start capturing it so I would probably put this to 0.75% on that example I have 50% just to speed it up but 0.75% or 1% is 100 so not 100 is 100 but 1 is 100 0.75% will be 3 fourths of it that seems good enough so like you they start bleeding other teams tickets before it's 100 percent owned you can make it obviously one to get 100 percent owned uh, so those are that set up that's that set up you don't have to sync these to anything these just can float around like you see over here but i'm going to come over here obviously you want to place a player and then you want to delete this and then you can come down here and we can press play we're going to move our character a little bit closer to that uh, we're gonna press multiplayer. Uh, boom, boom. Come on in here. As you see, we get the sector. Everyone forward. You'll notice this top down. Our counter is top going down, and now it signifies that we're getting a sector. We just stay in here. We can shoot some stuff. Like, oh, 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 that's really loud, actually. That is really loud. Uh, gun them down now you got the sector and it says you got the sector before you got all the sector because I put it to 0.75 dominance if I put the one it would wait till that bars all the blue now you see op four tickets are bleeding down and that's that that's really that simple uh, so you press continue you go back and boom so I want to explain my next video is going to be implementing everything we've learned in all these tutorials to make one big uh, multiplayer game mode. So if you want to watch that, it will be coming shortly. I'm going to be working on it right after this. So yeah, it's going to be pretty much sector control with the vehicles responding, players responding, uh, ticket system, uh, timing system, which is what we just learned. Uh, what else have we learned? Uh, any video I made that will play into this is what it's going to be in here. So it's going to be a bunch of stuff. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. I hope you guys watch it when it comes out. Probably make me two or probably make me take me one day like the rest of tonight to do it. So yes, uh, I s like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I've been getting some good f feedback for like the amount of views I've been getting. It's actually really exciting, even though it's not that much. But I really appreciate all the comments. I've only gotten one rude comment, but I never got a dislike. So I don't know if the guy was serious. But I just said real with a smiley face because like you know he gave his honest opinion, so I don't really mind it. But I do appreciate all the stuff and feedback you guys are giving me, so 
Yes. Also, I did say I was going to mess with this revive thing that they have up here. Um, I believe it's a multiplayer. Yeah. I was messing with it. I could not figure it out. So I do. I need someone off my friends list or something to come and join a multiplayer server with me that I make so I can test this out because I could not figure it out with AI and I'm assuming it doesn't work with AI. Uh, so if one of you guys want to add me or I guess I could find someone on my friends list it's, it'll be easy like that but my username is Mr. Taco. Uh, so yeah end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe like I said. Uh, have a good day, have a good night, have a good morning.